Hi, I'm Jen. This is Teach, Travel, Learn, and today I'm going to show you something which I have put off for a very long time, but was actually quite easy, and that is how to create an animated quote box for Teachers Pay Teachers. All right, let's get started. So we'll start in PowerPoint, and the first thing you need to do is set the size of the slides. And I saw a few different things from a couple of different websites, which I've linked below because they were very helpful in different ways. But one said like a three to one ratio, and another one said um, like three inches by 1.6 inches. And so I went with uh, 30 centimeters by 16 centimeters for my slide just as a general starting point. And I think I could have gone quite a bit wider. So when I redo it, which I will, uh, I will make a wider slide next time. So I would recommend going with a three to one ratio. And the next thing you need to do is go into design and background styles and set your background color, which should be 241, 241, 241, which is the pale gray color that the TPT quote box and the surrounding area are. So it will blend seamlessly into the space around the quote box. As always with background styles, you'll want to click apply to all so every slide will automatically have the same background color. Now that you have your background, it's time to go ahead and start filling in with text and images. I won't bore you with mine, so we'll skip to the end, all right? Okay, I've got six images, so I'm going to click save as and then click file type PNG and then save every slide and that will save all of the slides as PNG images, and then I'm ready to turn those into a GIF or a GIF, however you wanna say it. A couple of different websites were recommended by different people for the next step, and so I pitted two of them against each other. I have the links below, and basically I found that they were pretty much the same. The quality of the images that were the same and they took the same exact amount of time to load. So really it's just your preference. I found easygif or easygif.com had more ads uh, in the middle and I always find those really annoying when they have that big download button. Uh, so for that reason, I did prefer GIF Maker or GIF Maker, um, but it's really just personal preference. And so let's skip to the next bit. So for the next stage, I did something which all of the blog posts I found recommended, which was I made a secret Pinterest board and uploaded the images as pins. And then I went to tiny URL and shortened them into uh, links that were the right length for the quote box. But in the end, none of that was necessary. All I had to do was directly upload the file into the quote box. So let's take a look at that. All I actually had to do was click choose file, upload my file, add one clickable link, choose save, wait a while, and when it uploaded, then I was able to immediately see it in my store. As you can see, it came out a bit smaller than I expected. So next time I make a new one, I will use the three to one ratio and see if I can make it a bit bigger. All right, I hope this helped and uh, Check out the links below for the blog posts that I use to walk me through it. And if you found this helpful, think about subscribing and you'll get all of my tips and tricks. Thanks for watching. Bye.